Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. This is Class Online School. We create family-oriented content. Here on this page and on this channel, we advocate sex education. We talk about family structure, how to build a to you and have a good structure in our families. We teach the Nigerian curriculum from Genesis 1 to SS3 for core subjects. Okay, and sometimes we discuss business tips, sometimes. Okay, so today we want to talk about grades and knowledge. Knowledge over grades or grades yeah. over knowledge. Okay, it's like a debate. Which of them do you think it's more important? Knowledge over grades. Some of us emphasize grades over knowledge. But there is something I want to talk about. Grade is short term, knowledge is long term. So if they ask you to take from the short term to the long term, which one do you take? Okay, depending on the circumstances, there are sometimes the short term may be needed, but in the long run, the long run is better. So both is important to me. They are all important. That I think knowledge supersedes. In as much as grade is important, we want to talk about knowledge that will take us long term. Grade will help us to discover where our weaknesses lie. Let's take grade for students. Okay, so let's uh, try to streamline it for our students. Grades for students over knowledge. Grade will help you as a caregiver, as a teacher, as a parent to know where your child is not doing well. We emphasize on grade, but our utmost emphasis should be on knowledge. Since we can use grade to discover areas of need, we want to help them to acquire knowledge on this area that will help them long term. So both grade and knowledge are important in the academic achievement of a child or in learning a skill, okay, in skill set. So grade is important, knowledge is important, but I think that knowledge is more important because knowledge will serve you long term while grade will correct the short term problem. And once the short term problem is corrected, then knowledge should be put in place. Why should we acquire knowledge? There are several reasons why we should acquire knowledge. The number one reason why we think we should acquire knowledge is it's long term. It helps us in the long term. A knowledge acquired remains with you for life most times. But great will help you to pass from that stage to the other stage and most likely you will forget about what you've learned on that stage. It's very few things that you learn on that stage that will take you further then great uh, um, knowledge help us to do practical application in emphasizing better grades we can try to cram try to put in at that particular time and solve such problem and after that we we'll forget then knowledge help us to um, be more practical we we'll become we, we begin to practicalize in the long run the knowledge you learn today can help you to be a better person in years to come but the grade you pass today will just be may just be an academic work sometimes because some of these great things you learn in your different grades in school will help you to better yourself too so like i said the debate is both end may i appreciate both end but I accept the knowledge more than just the great acceptance. Then knowledge helps us to develop or grow ourselves, personal growth. Knowledge applied to things help you to discover you and help you to discover new knowledge and help you to discover new things that will make you a better person. 
but academic grade will help you to pass that class, understand that concept, uh, that concept at that time, that content at that time, and then you will make a better grade, move on, and you might even forget all the concepts. Okay, most of the concepts we learnt in the in our year one of our higher school, we must have forgotten some of them. Few of them is sticking with us, but the knowledge we put in ourselves have remained over the years. I don't know whether I'm talking sense, but that's what I think, and that's what has worked for me. Then, knowledge is innovative and creative. If you allow a child to come up with a solution, apply the knowledge he has acquired over the years in a mathematical um, problem, you see him applying different principles because he has acquired knowledge and he come up with a concrete creative way of solving that problem. But some of us can just cram that formula at that time pass it, forget about it, and you see a younger person asking you about something you've passed through, and you said, ah, we did it then, but I forgot, because that is just passing, uh, making grades, but not knowledge being imbibed. We want to imbibe knowledge in as much as we are quest for having good grades. Let the knowledge we um, acquire during this great um, improvement Let's not forget it. Let it stick into us. Then, knowledge helps us to be adaptable. Adaptability. You look at the problem solving this way, it didn't work. You look at the problem this way, it didn't work. You look forward, it works. It makes you to adaptable to different situations. And you see how you can come in and save the situation. Okay? So, knowledge helps you to be adaptable. Great. Wants you to focus pass and move on problem solving knowledge help you to brainstorm see likely problems and likely solution you need to take okay helps you to brainstorm great wants you to read the content you have at that time pass your exam make you be the best at what you do and you go forward you see life have taught me that people who come up with first class are not always the best in their field of study first class people are not the best engineers first class people are not the best businessmen and women the people who apply knowledge and skills the knowledge they gain from skills they become better than those who have um, gotten the great um, knowledge or the great uh, performance. So look back at your high school, your secondary school. Look at those who were doing good. Have they been the best in their field when they come out of school? Are they the best? Most times they are not. Few of them are, yes. There are credits to some who come out of school with first class and they are doing great in their field. The majority of the time, it's not because they made first class that make them to be good at what they are doing. It's because they are applying knowledge to what they are doing. So knowledge application is important. And then finally, knowledge helps you to be independent. You try to figure it yourself. You try to make it in different ways to work out. You look at different options. Makes you independent. So, both are okay. Somebody asked this question in one of my social, I think on YouTube, knowledge over grades, which is better? Both are fine, both are okay, but I prefer knowledge because it helps you long term. But try to harness both together, infuse both.
try and make good grades so that they can know where your problem is so you can improve but don't drop the knowledge you learn along the road along the line making good grades at the background and just be moving with grade improvements without the knowledge stinking in, uh, sinking into you and being part of you to better you for your future so to the person that asks this question both are important but knowledge supersede i love both i love both grades and i love knowledge but i think knowledge supersede for me because in the long run knowledge will come to the rescue in the short run grades will come to the rescue okay and grade will identify the area of pain points and bring it to the spotlight and help you to develop it into acquiring better knowledge so both are important you need both to navigate better did i answer your question i don't know so if you are watching this and you are the person that asked this question comment below the comment box and let me know if i have answered the question if i did not answer the question well fine tune your question well so i can know the direction i'm going to go okay so remember your comment is important to me the question you ask is what helps me to put up more content i'll jump in and answer your question as much as i can okay um if you have other ideas about this topic comment below the comment box nobody is an island we are all learning all right help us and help others comment below the comment box somebody might learn from what you have commented that is the excess of learning learning is both end both the receiving end and both the giving end we are all in the learning process okay we want to better ourselves and structure ourselves for a better part all right so what is that issue arising in your area you want us to discuss what are some teenage problem you want us to talk about what are some sex education topic you want us to discuss about which area do you want us to cover tell us below the comment box we'll be happy and we'll be glad to put up content that affects the area you want us to talk about this is class online school we run the way um bring out family related content sex education we advocate here we're on the nigerian curriculum from genesis 1 to genesis 3 okay subscribe if you are following us or you are new to the channel share the uh share our videos if you think there are people who can learn from our videos we we'll have a lot of videos on the page and on the channel. Now, if you get through, you might find what might work for you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next.